and today we're going to have a look at this robot vacuum cleaner and it's also a mop as well now this is by Pro Scenic um, yeah so the box is really big so I had to zoom out the camera a lot so just ignore the cables and all the other boxes all around um, and I'm also sorting out my setup as well for review so I've got a table set up I just got to sort out my studio clean it all up and just get it ready really so we can do reviews properly after but yeah this is it so we've got a picture of the vacuum cleaner and Pro Scenic logo it's obviously upside down but yeah what else do we have got the model and all that over here so it's called the Coco Smart 790T and then we've got some specifications over here if you want to go ahead and check that out you can pause it but it says pull up specification transformer 24 volts to 0 0.6 amps uh, cleaning mode IPNAS wireless carrier navigation and planning system so that's nice what else do we have around here we just got the basic symbols really that safety symbols and all that let's go ahead and open this box up and let's see what we have so such a big box okay so we've got the manual over here we've got the pro scenic manual over here and you get that that new box smell from the for the science for that you got some new kitchen appliance or something you know that smell uh, we also got a really sort of quick start guide as well for the post scenic now because this actual device has Wi-Fi in it as well so this vacuum cleaner has Wi-Fi you can go ahead and download the app um, the app is called pro scenic app very, very easy to connect to just connect to your Wi-Fi normal Wi-Fi download the app uh, register it's really easy to register to set up then click on add new device and then it will search for the device and then once found it, bang, it will connect it. Simple as that. And to start your device in connection mode, you simply just press and hold on one of the buttons and it simply just starts connecting really. Simple as that. I mean, I've connected mine up already. So very easy to do. You can move that to along one side over here. This product over here, this is the actual mop bit. So you can see over here, I've already filled out water because I want to try it out before I started anything. So over here, you can just... Uh, open the up over here or if you want to keep it locked in you can open up like this and then we've got the of course waterproof ceiling all around over here fill this up with water close it off the water will drip along all over here all over here and slowly be released by these fibers over here so this is very nice microfiber sort of technology over here and it will slowly slowly release and the vacuum cleaner will just slowly mop it I've tried out the mop I'm gonna be honest it's not really the best thing that's out there so let's go ahead and carry on taking it out. So we've got the actual robot vacuum cleaner as well. And to put it in connection mode, you simply just touch and hold on the charging button until it beeps and then connection is written on top over here. We'll move that to one side over here. we also got uh, two of the brushes over here and then we've still got two spares as well so that's very, very nice we're going to put this to one side because we're going to need to fit it into our new device uh, we also have this uh, other sort of section for the bottom bit as well so currently if I open mine up and we see it so let me just grab it over here so currently we have this one over here so this is the brush and you can change it off to this one so this is for the mop and it's very, very simple to change we'll all do that in just a bit as well so a lot of rubbish literally just fell on me because I was trying this out so we also got a cleaning cloth as well so that's awesome um, sort of fiber for the mop so this is what we stick underneath the mop device so you see over here we stick that like that so like so and then it will start mopping so we're going to give that a go as well so I'm really going to really sticks on well because of these sort of joint things we have over here so just connect it up and then we'll try the mop out and see how well it works so go ahead there you go nice and flat and that is the actual mop feature so we'll go ahead and put that to one side and we've also got another extra cloth as well so it's nice that they give two so you've got one already there and then we've also got a spare one over here you can see we have the charging dock very very big charging dock 
So this is that. We're going to go ahead and set all this up as well. Uh, the charging dock does just take a simple AC adapter, we'll see that in just a sec. But nothing really much to it really. I assume there will probably be a time and date over here or maybe on top over here. But we'll see that when we power it up. We also got a remote control as well, so ProSonic remote control, basic buttons on and off, up, down, left, right. Uh, we can do our planning, uh, home button, so we'll go travel back to home uh, with the area, so it will clean the whole area, so it just goes up and down. The robot will just go up, down, up and down, up and down, clean the whole area. You can do clock settings, so you can set it to a certain timer, and then the robot will get out of its charging station, clean up at that certain time, and then go back and charge. Or you can do edge to edge cleaning, so where the robot simply just hits all the edges around the whole room and just cleans every single edge you've got. So that's nice. Uh, we will put some batteries in there. Uh, it does take two, I believe, AAA batteries, yes? So two AAA batteries. Pretty basic. I mean, most remote controls really require AAA batteries. We've also got a spare filter over here. So we've got a backup filter. That's really nice that they give that as well. Can come in very handy. So they're given a lot of backups. So we've got backup dust thing, we've got backup mop cloth and also backup filter and then we have the actual power plug itself and here it is so this is just normal basic power plug and then we've got the DC end to it as well so we're going to go ahead and boot it all up as well and we'll be right back I'm going to clean this all up right, so we've gone ahead set it up and we're going to go through on how to actually finish off the rest of the setting up so right now it is on the vacuum setting over here so you can see it's fitted with the hoover part go ahead and just pull on this clip over here slightly just push forward and it will lift up like so and that's the vacuum compartment off and then we have this over here which is for the mop compartment as you can see it's got a chip over here which will connect with these connectors there are metal connectors inside go ahead slide this in you hear it clip and then the device will know that now it's on mopping mode and for mopping mode to work you simply just fill this with water and then put on your cloth at the bottom and that simply just clips in over here so you can see over here that the pins simply just clip together and you just a bit of fiddling, a bit of force, make sure it's all flat down and there you go, now the vacuum cleaner is on mopping mode and also you can see over here we have the left and right, this is where the brushes will be going so we've got left and right written on these brushes as well, so this is the left one just go ahead and fit that onto the left and then this is the right one, so we go ahead and fit that onto the right. Simple as that really, that's it. We are all set up and ready to go. Uh, we then have this actual station over here. So this station, you do want to keep it on a good radius so that it can find itself to get back to home. So you want to keep it two meters, about, let's say about a meter space from this side of the wall, meter space this side and meter space this side. Enough so that this device can actually go in and park itself up. So this is the main product over here. Let's go ahead and let's take out the mop section. And we'll take out this, of course, this compartment over here because we're not going to mop. We are going to vacuum first. And let's fit the vacuum compartment back in. Can be a bit fiddly, guys. And there you go. Fit the vacuum compartment back in. And you can see this is underneath the whole vacuum cleaner. On this side over here we have the on and off button. Let's go ahead and switch it on. On the back we have a sensor and also the ventilation. On this side over here we have the power, AC power, so if you want to charge it through this connection you can do that or you can just go ahead and charge it through the dock over here where it will just sit on top and just charge. And then we have sensors all around the front over here. So this is all just the front sensor, but it's a really, really nice design actually. I do like the colour and design on this one. On the top over here, we've got ProSini Coco Smart 790T. Go ahead and lift that up. You can see over here the container where all the rubbish will be picked up. We'll pull that apart, and all the rubbish is picked up over here. Very, very simple to clean as well. It's just a simple clip, like so. Simple lift up of this. And there you go, you can start emptying all this rubbish. You can see over here, I've used it before, and the rubbish is picked up so far. So it's really, really nice very easy and very simple to clean as well and of course we do have a spare filter so if that one does get damaged and a bit overused we do have a spare one so let's go ahead and pop this back in and close so that's it really that is it from the robot vacuum cleaner
Then you can go ahead and press the power button over here. System rebooting. And you can hear wait. all of system rebooting all so it's also like voice activated so you know what's going on as well. Now let's go through the Pro Scenic app. You can download it from the iOS app store or even the Google Play Store. So I've got it over here, Pro Scenic. This is the application. It'll go ahead and load up. And don't really need Bluetooth, but you do need Wi-Fi on. And then once it's located, the robot, it will be able to connect to it and really start up. So we just need to make sure that it's all connected. And then you can use it from the device over here. So you can do it up, down, left, right, all from this device. You can choose the mode, auto, area, or edge. Uh, you can send a... Cleaning start. So there you go, I pressed auto, so now it started cleaning. Or there you go, you can just see it's moving about already. It does make quite a bit of noise. If I go ahead and press pause, there you go, it's stopped now. Uh, if I press home, then the device will go and find its home. But currently, we haven't plugged in the home, so it won't go and look for it. Uh, we've also got some other settings over here, such as location and all that. So, how much area we've cleaned in meters squared, uh, the battery percentage of the device. Uh, we can also schedule some times as well, so when we want the time. Uh, so this is the current time we have 4:32, which is the time right now, and then we can schedule times where you want the vacuum cleaners to get out of the station, char, uh, clean up, and then go back in the station. And then we have also other settings such as sound, uh, reminder, update, battery, uh, the machine status, and also the Wi-Fi version as well. So basically, the remote control is basically just on your phone. A little bit more features such as you get the meter squared you've covered and the battery percentage. You won't get that from the remote control. And that's pretty much it really. So if I press play again, there you go, you can see over here that the vacuum cleaner has already begun. And it's super, super cool like that. And it did just bump into the tripod. But I can also control it from here as well. So if I press back, stuff like that, then it will hopefully turn and all that. And pause, hopefully it stops. Do you want to stop? So there you go, I mean the Wi-Fi app is a bit laggy, a bit delayed. To be honest, I wouldn't really use the Wi-Fi app to use the device, but it's a nice feature, it's good that it's there. And I'm gonna really stick with the old remote control. And we're gonna uh, use this uh, device a little bit further and we'll get into a proper, proper review and we'll check it out as well. And we'll also check out that mop feature and we'll see how good that is. So we'll be right back. I'm gonna use the device and I'm gonna show you guys as well and we'll see how it performs. As you can see, it's in this dock. Go ahead and switch the charger on, and you can Please see over here. Please turn on the power switch, and it's just going to reboot and set up. You can also turn on the power switch from the side. There you go. Start charging. Start charging. Now it's charging the device, and simple as that, really. And it will start charging. Now you also got the remote over here. You can start using the device as well. So let's use the remote control. We'll just press the on and off button and it comes out of its charging dock and we'll start the system vacuum process. Please wait. So the system's rebooting. So it's really, really cool that it talks to you and actually tells you. And the fan in here is actually really loud, it's quite a powerful fan. And there we go, off we go, it's charging. We're just going to pan the camera and follow it along. Let's see how it does. So you can see how it bumps into edges and stuff. Now this is a real problem here. Now if you've got gaps like that, it will get stuck underneath. But we'll try and figure out a way to find it out. Now the only way you can get it out manually really, if you can't get out, but it will try and figure it out on its own. But yeah, you can always go ahead and just turn it off. And then use the buttons over here to move it along. So you can't actually move it while it's hoovering like, like so while the hoover is actually on the hoover system, you can't actually move the device. You can only move it when you turn it off, which is it's quite annoying. I mean, I would like to control it as well when it is sucking all the dust and all that when the vacuum is on, but you can't you can't control it when the vacuum is on, which is a bit of a downside. It would have been better if I could control the where I want it to go with the vacuum on. But other than that, you can just go ahead and do that. So right now it's just going to go up and down, up and down cleaning process. So that's the area clean. Then you also got edge to edge clean. That's when it's going to go and just clean all the edges like that. So it slowly, slowly just touches all the edges, 
touches all the edges and goes down and clears everything. So that's edge to edge clean, so you'll clean edge of every wall. So there's a bit of a step up there, and it may get stuck up there, but it is stuck. There you go. No, nope, it's managed to move out. So obviously, if there's a huge like edge like that much, like it's not even a slope, it's just a massive wall on the side like that big, it struggles to get up there. And underneath carpet places like that, it will get jammed. Obviously, you do need to keep an eye on it sometimes. You've got area like that, but. You don't really need to keep on it because if it does get jammed it will power off it on its own it will just turn off but you can see over there it did get up that edge so there's a big edge there and it actually managed to get up there so that's really good but you can see it's a bit bit stuck there so it is struggling again so that's what happens with the vacuum cleaner of course you can see over there it's a bit stuck Let's take it out of there. So yeah, I turn it off in control like that. You don't even need to get up and move it. But that's the vacuum for it anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep the vacuum on for a little bit. And we'll see how much we can actually pick up and all that. So yeah, we'll be right back. It's mop. Now for mopping, we're going to need this one over here. And we're going to need this piece over here for the mop thing. So all you've got to do is go ahead, grab the vacuum cleaner, just power it off by clicking the switch over here. Flip around the vacuum cleaner, we'll just move the tripod back. There you go. Just want to open the clip up here, like that. Fit in the new one, so you can see the connectors over here will connect up. So it knows that it's gone into the mop. Then you come with this, obviously, cloth. Go ahead, just stick that on, it comes with it. You get two as well, so that's awesome. And then fill this up with water over here, so go ahead, just lift this up fill it up with water so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm also going to damp this with water as well so let's go do that and we'll be right back the water I'm going to go ahead and put a bit more actually just a teeny bit more like so and then just lift this tab up so it's easier and I'm also going to put flash clean and shine lemon so we're going to put some of that in there as well this is obviously to give that nice mop smell so just go ahead without tipping it all over the place like I did. Just go ahead and fill some of that up. Just let it infuse up a bit, shake it about. And just lock it up tightly in place. And now we can go ahead and fit this into this, uh, the actual vacuum cleaner, the actual cloth a bit just to help speed up the process. I just put a little bit of water all around here like so, and then just squeeze it out. Just damp up the cloth a bit, like so. And now we can go ahead and fit this onto the actual device. So it literally just locks into place like so. Just push it down, and there you go. And you can see my hands already got wet. And now let's go ahead and let's give it the mop a go as well. Now you can also use these of course because they push all the dust in and put it into here, suck it in and then we also mop the floor. So let's go ahead and use the mop in the kitchen and let's see how it works. System rebooting please wait. So it's just turning on, it's turned on now and we can go ahead and power it on for me or you can touch the buttons here. So we've got the charging button, clean button, scheduling and edge clean all in here as well but we can go ahead and power it on from here. Another thing we can do is also schedule as well so we can schedule what time we want the actual vacuum cleaner to turn on and go clean up as well so that's a really really good idea, I really like that one and of course if you have the app you can all schedule that as well but to be honest i don't usually use the app for buttons like this i'll just use it for you know changing the settings or scheduling stuff like that that's what the app is really useful for otherwise i'd stick with the remote the remote is much better so let's go ahead and power this on and let's start mopping and see how it does and there you go i can already see it's leaving a wet line and we're just going to go ahead and leave it for a good few bit. It is gone all the way up there. But it's basically going up and down, up and down. So that's what it's going to do. Unless I press edge to edge, then it will just go clean all of the edges. But right now it's just going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And clean this whole area. So let's go ahead and let her do that and we'll be right back. And it did okay. I mean, to be honest, manual mopping is better. I mean, just doing it yourself is a lot, lot better. But the vacuum on this is actually pretty good. It does actually do good vacuum cleaning. It picks up uh, the small things like dust and strings and all those little rubbish you have on the floor. It will pick all that up. 
but for mopping, I mean, it, it did mop it and you did get a nice smell, but obviously it doesn't scrub hard or anything, so if there's any marks, it's not going to clean it. So manual mopping, I mean, is the best way to go. But it's a nice feature that they added, I mean, it's cool that it can also vacuum and mop, but to be honest, a bit pointless feature as well. So let's see how much rubbish we did pick up. So it's simple, just open this up here, lift the tab up here. And we can see how much we picked up, and we have picked up quite a lot. You can see over there, it, is, it has got a big, big container as well. And also, we do have a brush here somewhere as well, I believe, on here. There it is. On top of here, we do have a brush, so you can just clean off, you know, the just the dust off stuff. And if there's any dust anywhere, you can always clean up. So that's a really, really nice feature as well. I do like that. And yeah, that's the vacuum cleaner, pretty much. I mean, I think it's really good. I really like it. I think it's smart. I mean, it, it can mop and vacuum at the same time. Again, like I said, the mop is pretty pointless, but hey, at least you got the feature. It's still quite nice to have. And the other thing you can do as well is, of course, uh, if you power it on, system just system reboot. And you can press the home button here, and it will go and find the charging dock and dock into the charging station. So if I just move out the way a little bit, give it some space, and let's move back. Just move the camera up. And if I press the home button here, it will just look around. And sometimes I say it's, it's not really accurate. Sometimes it does take a really, really long time to find this charging station. But there you go. This time we found it because it's right near it. And there you go. Start charging. Start charging. So it just finds the station, locks itself in, starts charging. Simple as that. I actually really, really like this vacuum cleaner. I think it's a really cool product to have. And uh, link to buy this will be down in the description. Overall score, 8 out of 10. I think it's really, really cool. Coco Smart 790T vacuum cleaner. I think it's really, really cool and it's a really nice product to have as well. So, again, link to buy this down in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.